what have we lost here? Really was like a candle of light, a strong light, in the crosswinds of contradictions in our country. But she could not be blown away for all the many years since she was married to Mandela at the age of 23. And he left her for 27 years. I lived with her when I was only 17 for three years in her house. I saw the brutality, I saw the beatings, I saw the slippings. She fought all the time when the police came to search the house to look for all sorts of things. She never locked the door because she accepted that she lives in a prison. That's the house behind us, the other side, 8115 Holland West Villa Gazi Street. That's where Nelson Mandela comes from. I saw what the brutality, the humiliation of that woman. But she stood and she gave this country her all. She, she gave this country all in the struggle towards freedom, for social justice, for democracy, for non-racialism, for, for non-sexism as well, because that's who Winnie was. But Winnie was not a chief of the block of Nelson Mandela. She told you in the interview, she carved her own image herself. And for 27 years, there's no Nelson Mandela in this country, and yet there was Winnie. There's no Oliver Tambo, and yet there was Winnie. That's why I'm saying that she was a shining light for our people at the most difficult time. And when I lived with her, that's what I saw. What do we miss from Winnie? We miss a leader who is indefatigable, defined to the last. And she committed herself to the liberation of people for social justice, for democracy, for everything, with all the mistakes. Some of them are terrible. And we address them with her, face to face, organization inside. She went to courts and so on. But let me say the following about those shortcomings, and we should not whitewash them. <laughs> None of the mistakes were made in the interest of self gain. And all those mistakes, the compass was always the liberation of the people. So she never betrayed the people. We didn't never betray anybody. At 81, we had hope she would live longer, but she never betrayed the struggle for all those years. That's what we take away.